Hello, this is Nancy, and thank you for coming to visit me at Nan's Next Knots. It's been a while since I've been on here and showed you what I've been working on, so I wanted to take some time this evening and show you what my next knots have been and what my next knots will be. Uh, the first piece I'm going to show you is the Sally Cardi Vest that is designed by Kristen Omdahl. Now, I do not have a mannequin, so I'm going to show it to you on a hanger, which is really not the best way to show you and give you uh, a real glimpse effect of how great this piece really is. doesn't do it justice. So I'm going to bring it over here, kind of show you up against the wall here. So this is the back, the bottom. And then the fronts kind of come down at an angle, like a triangle, and so does the front collar. Well, it's lower than a collar. And it, I don't know if you can tell, but this is so drapey. Now, this is a lovely pattern, and I enjoyed working on it. But let me show you how simple the concept of this is. This is a big rectangle with armholes. Now this is made from Kristen Omdahl's Be So Fine Yarn. And the colorway is Parisian Bordeaux. This is fine lace weight, 100% bamboo. Now, out of all the yarn that I've ever worked with, I have to say her bamboo is the drapiest. The drapiest fabric I've ever worked with. And I know it's spendy, but if you have an item that you really want that drapery, you should check it out. And... That was a tutorial which I watched and I also bought the pattern for it and I made a belt for it and this is uh, wasn't in the pattern but I made it created it after the pattern to kind of resemble what the pattern stitch pattern is and I made this for my cousin for her birthday I thought I'd be able to whip it out but her birthday is coming on and It'll just have to go to her when it's not her birthday. So anyway, I made her a belt in case she wanted to tie it. So let me show you my next finish item. This is created from the TL Crafters Bronwyn Shawl. And I just condensed it to make it into a shawlette. So really what I did is I made less rows and condensed it down. Now I showed this as a work in progress. And this end, as I was making it, was really curling. But once I put a border around it and blocked it, it solved that problem. And then right here, I got an end that's trying to come loose. I'll have to fix that. So this is done in Cascade Pima, Cascade Ultra Pima. 100% cotton in three different colors. I don't have the color colorway names right here with me. So then another shawl that I will shawlette that I want to show you is this. And this was a tutorial by Fiber Spider. Now, this yarn is a ice yarn. And it is 60% cotton, 40% polyamide. 
Now, uh, I reviewed the yarn for this on another video, and it's my sixth, so it's number six, yarn haul opening video. And this is for ice yarn, and the number of it, is, or the name of it is uh, Variety of Yarn. So you can go back and watch that video and get see that and more information on it. So that is all I have for finished projects. So I'm going to show you a couple works in progress. Now this is the same shawl by Fiber Spider. This has done a really, really fine thread. I'll show you here in a second. But I stopped here because it's kind of a solid work here and I thought I could put in a design here. And this is for my youngest daughter who really likes purples and pinks. And I figured that I'd put a design here, maybe something like um, a dragonfly or something since I have room to do it because it's going to grow. And then um, the yarn that I'm using is, I got this from Hobium, it is Gazal Princess. And I got this oh, probably a year ago, way before, and you can see, way before I thought about having a YouTube channel. You can see how shiny and slick this is. It's very silky, satiny. Um, this is 100% rayon. And let me show you my next work in progress. Now this is going to be a halter or tank top. It's after no real particular pattern. I was out there looking for uh, a pattern and didn't quite find one that I like, so I'm going to kind of combine ideas from several of the YouTube videos that I saw out there. So this is also for my daughter that likes pinks and purples. For her, I started it on her birthday. I'm really bad with birthdays this year. I'm not quite making it. And you know what? I keep it in this tub. Now, Katrina from Katrina's Creation mentioned this in one of her videos not long ago, how she uses a margarine tub. And I've been doing this forever. Uh, inexpensive. I put my yarn in here, this goes on the floor, I pull, it stays in there, keeps it off the floor, I can put my hook in there, and I can put my project in there until it gets too big, if I want to go somewhere, put the lid on it, it's all right there. Pretty cool. This that I just showed you is in a potato salad tub. Real inexpensive. Um, the yarn that I used on that tank top, halter top, is this Tenna yarn from Ice. This is also on that video. Number six, Ice Yarn Haul Variety of Yarn. Now, this is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. And I tell you, I mean, it's not like fuzzy, fuzzy soft, but it is soft and squishy. Um, but it's kind of sleek and very cool feeling. And when I work with this fabric, it feels like, like a bathing suit fabric. I think it's going to hold up really well. And so she'll be able to wear a bathing suit under it, go to the river. Uh, so it'll be a tank top she can wear over the top. So that is all I have for my finished objects and my work in progress. But I wanted to show you this Happy Mail that I got. Now, this came from my friend, Helene, at Cabin Fever Crochet. And she sent me this. 
and it's a hair stick. Now, we were talking, and as I get older, my hair is getting thinner and thinner, so I'm trying to be really careful with it and try not to put it in rubber bands and stuff that might break it. So I can twist up my hair and stick this in there without any kind of rubber band, and it's really great. And I really thank you, Helene, for sending this to me. I use it all the time. And she's embellished it with a stone that's kind of like mother of pearl. Very pretty. And she ta she sells these when she has a booth at a market. And it came in this really nice velvety case. And then she also sent me, because we were talking about knitting, because we're both cro crocheters. So she sent me these knitting needles. Knitter's Pride Bamboo it is a 32 inch cord which is 80 centimeters and it's a US number 7. So we were both talking about one day we may take up knitting or I could you know reteach myself uh, knitting and later this winter Right now I'm having way much fun crocheting. <laughs> but I do see a lot of lovely knit work out there. And the knit is just very fine and dainty. And if you know me, you know I like working with finer yarns. And I think knitting is going to be a real nice thing for some of that and for the outcome and the appeal. Anyway, um, she has a channel, and it's called Cabin Fever Crochet. And she also has an Etsy, and it's called Wild Rose Creations. Oh, I'm sorry, Wild Rose Acres. And so go ahead and check that out. And thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you next time and find out Nan's Next Knot. Have a nice weekend. Thank you.